we've actually done three things, three awesome things recently. Two of those things we actually got in a nude for. for yeah. Our, and that was for health and well-being. Oh, wow. I'm pretty sure we could have ended up naked for the last one as well if <laughs> it had gone completely wrong. Yay. We have finally made it into our brand new studio for the very first show of the Beats Bleed show. I'm so excited. Yes, I mean, like, look at this place. It feels like home. Yeah. It feels right, and it feels like it's been a long time coming. Yeah, absolutely. And we are finally here and so ready to get stuck in. Yeah, and like, I mean, just to kind of cut straight into it, is that I have so many people, or when I say so many, probably three, three people, maybe four, maybe five, have been asking me, like, what's, what is Beats of Plenty? So, what is Beats of Plenty? Yeah, I get the same question too. I think it all boils down to uh, some very important things. Okay, what are they? <laughs> tell me, tell me. First and foremost, the incredible people we have here in the area. Amazing people are doing amazing things that you may not really know the full story about. There's lots of people hidden in little communities all around the Bay of Plenty of Region, and there's some blimmin' awesome people that live in this area. Yeah. And we want to share their stories yeah. and let other people know how awesome they are too. Hey. Yeah, definitely. They need a space where they can uh, share all the goodness that they have is waiting this, for us. Is this a safe space for people? Yeah. Okay, all right. That's good. Well, we'll find out soon because we're having guests that will be coming in very shortly. To come and join us on the shows, which is uh, really exciting. What else is Beats of Plenty all about? Experiences. Oh. Which, you know, could be an adventure. It could be something for your health and well-being. Oh, okay. I need a bit of that. Yeah, the, there's definitely something for everyone out there. And uh, we're all about bringing that to the people and getting stuck in there and experiencing it ourselves so we can tell you what it's all about. Yeah, well, it kind of comes from a place, right, that uh, we're not getting any younger. No. And we just want to go and have some fun. Yeah. And, you know, there's so many people that I come across that say there's nothing to do around here. There's, this place sucks. And so we want to challenge that. And yeah. so go out and explore, find some cool things to enjoy, whether it's with the family, on a budget, or going bougie, all that kind of stuff. And give people a, an opportunity to go, I didn't even know that that was here, or I didn't even, like, didn't even know about it. Yeah. So this is where it gets really exciting for us and dangerous possibly <laughs> with some of the stuff that we end up doing too. Yeah. And, um, of course, what does everyone love to do more than anything? I know it's true, is eat. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Talking my language. Yeah. And there's so many um, incredible options and sometimes it could be a little bit uh, overwhelming, right? Well, it's not for me because I would no normally order anything and everything off the menu when I go yeah. to places. Yeah. Yeah, maybe a little too much. A little bit extra, yeah. Yeah, you are extra. But yeah, hey, look, it's about going and exploring some of those spots as well and some of the uncommon ones that yeah. are probably off the beaten track. So that is what Beats of Plenty is about. We are on a mission to explore and uncover and also share stories with some of the other amazing people that live in this area. So here we go. Exciting. And so, hey, look, we, we actually have been doing lots of work up until this point of going and doing some of this stuff. And yeah. recently we decided to invest in ourselves and our health and well-being. <laughs> yeah, before it's too late. Yeah, well, I don't know. <laughs> it might be too late, but well. I think it, well, no, it's not too late maybe for me, but I think I'm on the line. I'm on the line now. So whatever I can do to help lift the mana, uh, also lift the, the bags under my eyes, yeah. all of that kind of stuff, I'm all for it. And I'm yeah. all for giving things a go and just seeing what happens. And that's exactly what we've been doing recently. We've actually done three things, three awesome things recently. Two of those things we actually got in a nude for. for yeah. Our, and that was for health and well-being. Oh, wow. I'm pretty sure we could have ended up naked for the last one as well if <laughs> it had gone completely wrong. Or completely right, who knows? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we're three very different things to, uh, I guess, explore health and well-being for us. And yeah, just so cool. And so 
Uh, yeah, recently we went out to Papamoa, right? And yeah. uh, we went and visited uh, a beautiful lady, Ange, from Gaia uh, Recovery and Wellness. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. And so what did we, like, what do you call what we did? It was uh, infrared uh, therapy, wasn't it? And like a capsule, wasn't it? Yeah, and like this pod. Um, they did have an infrared sauna as well, but we're going to go back and try that one. Yeah, get your sweat on and all that stuff, yeah. But yeah, basically, you know, to get the full impact, uh, you got to take everything off, right? Well, that's, I, I look, I say that all the time. Just take it all off and see what happens. Just take it all off. Let it all bear. I mean, no one's going to see you. It's just you in the light, absorbing all that goodness and coming out feeling well, rejuvenated. Yeah, so we, I mean, we jumped in these capsules for like 20, 30 minutes, I think yeah. it was. And then that, I was a little bit concerned that I might fall asleep and then the, um, someone <laughs> might have to come in and like kind of check on me and lift up the <laughs> capsule and they'll be like, oh my God, look at this. What is this thing? <laughs> oh my God. But um, it was just so relaxing. Had, yeah. the, had the music on, yeah. I kind of got transported to it. It felt like a different place. Yeah, I totally drifted away. At first I thought I'd been abducted by aliens and I was on a spaceship or something. I did not feel like I was in this world, which sometimes is a good thing. Yeah, and so I have done uh, some forms of red light therapy before and I found the benefits of actually like healing parts of me. Yeah. And you've seen it firsthand, yeah. right? Of like crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's been yeah. pretty amazing. So to go into a full capsule mm. uh, and just let your body uh, take all this this beautiful yeah. um, energy that goes into your system, penetrates the skin, all that kind of stuff. I'm not a scientist, so I don't know exactly yeah. what it does. But I know it actually helps rejuvenate your body. And if you've got injuries or things like that, mm. it helps with those things. And so, yeah, what a perfect spot that was to go and test it out. Yeah. So what did you think of, like, like would you go back in those capsules and do it again? Definitely. I, I will say that I did feel like it helped with inflammation. Okay. Like I, I actually felt like my skin was glowing quite a bit the days following. So... Yeah, that's enough for me to go back, 100%. Mm. Yeah, and I guess it's one of those things, right, is that we went and bought ourselves a couple of passes each. So it's, yeah. um, as Andrew was saying, it's like about consistency, staying yeah. in those things and giving it, like, to, doing it a, a number of times yeah. to reap the benefits, I guess you would call it. And what a cool spot out there in, in Papamoa. I think they call it East Papamoa yeah. in that spot there. Yeah, there's some interesting uh, things popping up in the area around there, um, cafes and, you know, bakeries yeah. and stuff as well. So if you want to uh, make a combo of yeah. that experience, then you're in the right place. Well, we did try that, didn't we? We went and yeah. got red light uh, treatment in the capsule and then we went and um, had uh, sweet treats and yeah. uh, brunch as well. So I don't yeah. know if that kind of counteracted <laughs> the uh, red light therapy, but it was totally worth yeah. the experience. And I mean, ch like cheap as uh, for me in, in my thinking is we got uh, three sessions for, I think it was like 100 Hundred and ten dollars. So yeah. we got we bought two and got one free. Yeah. So, I mean that's pretty good. Yeah. In my mind, that's awesome. And what a great thing to do with your partner as well. Like something different. True. Imagine if they had double capsules. I don't know if we'd be able to do it both together. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It might be some interesting noises going on. I don't know if it'd be very relaxing for you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, okay, yeah. Could it's be, an idea. Could be a could it's be an idea. Thing. Yeah. Th float Put it, it out there. Float it out there. Right, <laughs> see what happens. So. That was really cool, a yep. real different thing to do. Uh, we also, what else did we do? Oh, that's what we did. Oh, we went on a, a beautiful retreat. Yeah. Water cliff retreat. Water cliff. Oh. What a treat that was. That was a birthday treat too, so. Yeah. Gold star for you. Tick. Yeah, I won that one. So that was like, what did you think of that experience? I loved it, like. I'm one of these people that's like, I want to experience new things and then try something new. And I don't really think about going back and doing something like that again, but I would absolutely go back there again. Why? Why? Like, so what was it, what made it so special for you? I just could not believe that we were just literally, what, 10, 15 minutes down the road. Yeah. And I felt like I was on the other side of the world. You know what I mean? I felt like I was in a whole different world. Yeah. No one else was there. No, no. All you could hear was nature. The birds and the bees, like literally. And a few noises from me. And and from you, but that's, you know. <laughs> Standard. Standard. 
it was like, yeah, just the whole like basin that it was in. Even getting there, it was like you drive down this massive long driveway. Yeah. You feel like you're going into like somewhere like Jurassic Park or something. Yeah. You know, so like, whoa, where am I going? Then you have to drop your car off at a special car park halfway down. And then you get picked up uh, by one of the uh, the team there, and they drive you down the last leg of it. And when you're going around all these windy roads, and then you yeah. come into the clearing, it's just like, whoa, mm. yeah, I'm liking this. Yeah. And so there was no cell phone coverage. No. There was no like you couldn't use devices, right? So it was like a full unplug yeah. from the world type of weekend. And I don't, I I can't actually remember the last time I've actually done something like that. But it was just like it was like so good. Yeah, you were f- definitely fully immersed in the experience of just the two of you being there with no distractions or anything like that. And it was a midwinter getaway as well. It was. It was cold, but it was beautiful, and I mean, even if it was raining, I reckon it would have been epic. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, that unit we stayed in was so cosy. Yeah. Well, it wasn't cosy outside, <laughs> and that's what kind of leads us into the second part mm-hmm. of our naked bodies for health and well-being. They had a bath out, the, out yep. uh, on the deck there. The it's, old outdoor bath. Yeah, so yep. we uh, fired that bad boy up mm-hmm. um, the both nights that we were staying there and uh, jumped on in. In the nude. Yeah, nudie. Yeah. Yep, the old uh, <laughs> skin suit. And yep. uh, that was that was a that was good fun. Mm-hmm. That was good fun. And uh, we took what some Epsom salts as well just to get the yeah, full yeah. like relaxing mode. Yeah. So good. And then we even had a bit of a challenge that uh, popped up partway through the experience there. And I'm quite surprised that we didn't come to blows with this one. The puzzle. <laughs> the puzzle. The puzzle. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I hadn't done a puzzle for a long time, and I was thinking at one point that I never would. Yeah. Well, hey, look, I, I was waiting for the call-up. I was just watching you <laughs> for ages, doing your puzzle by yourself, and I'm just kind of sitting there in the corner just going... Is she gonna ask me if I want to like have that or something? Can I, like it, it was Sorry. hours. That was hours. <laughs> Never mind. I had the you know the food and stuff to cook, but yeah, it was so it was just cool. Just cool. Yeah. Like, I felt old school way, like yeah. just like hanging out old school, yeah. and felt so charged up. We had a good walk around the whole space. Yeah. It was beautiful. Lots of nature. Lots of animals and crazy birds and all that kind of stuff yeah. around. So that was really cool. And like I hundred percent felt powered up and yeah, soul definitely. charged after yeah. that one. I did not feel like I was missing out on anything. I was just happy to be there. And the thing with that one, I, I, I as well is that the price of the weekend there was like so, like it was, it was perfect in the sense that like I would rather go and get away from the world and mm-hmm. just uh, hang out with you know loved ones and just recharge and do some cool stuff of connection and things like that, than like dr- like sorry Auckland, uh, but to go yeah. to Auckland for the weekend and get stuck in traffic yeah. and that kind of stuff. Like you said, it was fifteen minutes yeah. away from our home, but it felt like we we're in a whole different place and a place for ourselves. Yeah, beautiful. I definitely felt like I got more out of that experience than any you know city getaway or anything like that. It was. It was just nice to go back, strip everything back. and Yeah. It's got me wanting to go and do another escape like yeah. that again real soon, eh? Yeah, I'm thirsty for it. Oh, yeah. And so we've done another experience for health and well-being <laughs> yeah. as well. Or we've done a few, but this, is, this other one was a bit of a classic, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So we um, decided to check out the Redwoods. Yeah. Which was quite an experience. I knew we were going to go for some kind of walk. I just wasn't expecting it to turn into, yeah, the journey we embarked upon. Well, you know, I've got, f- that's, you know, I was born and bred in Rotorua and uh, we went over to go see some family and old Pop, he was a little bit slow. Uh, we had to go to a cafe with him. He, you know, bless him. But uh, we were out of the blocks late to get to the Redwoods to go for our walk. And I hadn't been through the Redwoods in a long time, you know, so didn't really uh, know how long the, the walk would take. And, you know, if you're asking me for directions, <laughs> you, you know you're going to get lost. Yeah. We were amateurs really, weren't we? We didn't really do any research beforehand. We just nah. we just rocked up, you know? Yeah. Sometimes it's good to do those things, you know, just it's a challenge, isn't it? Well, I did notice at the start we were going in the exact opposite direction of everyone else. Uh, yeah. So that was, that was a sign. 
But we ignored those signs. Yeah, hey, look, you just got to like, you know, live, <laughs> laugh, life, love, live. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, something like that. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we kind of got lost, didn't we? Yeah, we did. I was definitely huffing and puffing in a fur coat, which I deeply regretted wearing. And Doc Martens, which are not yeah. really suitable for a hike, a long hike where the sun is setting and you don't know if you're going to get back yeah. before dark. Yeah, there was a little bit of panic that set in, uh, in my mind at one stage, just thinking, I have no idea where I am. I can't find Google Maps on my phone or where we are right now. It's not moving. Uh, and it's getting dark and it's getting really yeah. cold right now. We haven't had anything to eat for ages. Or drink. Yeah, we or were drink. so thirsty. <laughs> You're so parched. <laughs> oh, so... Uh, beautiful though, like what a beautiful spot. And I think for us, it was uh, one of those, ah, oh, once we got out and just, yeah, yeah we, we got a feed afterwards. But I think it got us wanting more of just going back yeah. and doing it again a little bit differently. Yeah, it was a relief and an achievement at the same time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I think the one thing that sits in my mind, apart from the terror of thinking that we might have to stay out of bush uh, for the <laughs> night in the Redwoods was... Just how amazing and beautiful mm. the, the trees were, how yeah. huge they were, yeah. and uh, how much of a tourist or tourist we look like to the mm. tourists. I mean, we were popping off like videos and yeah. shots everywhere, right? But um, yeah, it's just such a beautiful place to be. Yeah. yeah, three amazing experiences that for me, totally different, you know, and offered so many different things, but definitely... I felt like I was trying new things and getting out in nature, two different, uh, you know, two things that tick my yeah. boxes. Absolutely. I would never have known um, really about some of these things either if we hadn't have, uh, you know, turned the pages and had a look and seen what was really out there. So, yeah. Yeah. Here's some more of that. Well, we've, we've got some lined up all ready to go, which I'm really excited about. So, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. It's, it's going to be a journey. It's going to be a journey. And I think with these, hopefully, well, who knows? There might be a few other <laughs> naked uh, experiences along the way or nude. Yeah. Uh, Whatever next, it's going to be good. <laughs> feel it. <laughs> you can feel it in your bones. Yeah. So sometimes it takes just that little incentive, that little kick up the jacksy or a little bit of a nudge and a push to do things right. I'm totally like that, you know. Yeah. I'm getting better, but uh, I've kind of gone hermit mode for a, for a few years, you know. But we want to give someone the opportunity to have a bit of an experience. One of these experiences that we've had as well. So uh, we bought three vouchers for we did. the Agaya Recovery and Wellness Centre. Yes. Uh, and we want to give uh, one of those away. So... we oui, lucky. Oh, yeah. You don't need to go nude like we did, though. No. But, uh, you know, more skin, apparently. The more skin yeah. you, you have available to the red lights, the yeah. better. Yeah. So if you would like to give that a bit of a gozy, then all you need to do is uh, put in the comments, red light. Roxanne. Oh, what? Sorry. I just maybe just put like yeah red light okay yeah okay yeah so put red light in the comments and uh, you will choose someone in the next week or so to go out and have a bit of a go which is pretty cool wow okay well that's episode one done okay and I don't think we got into too much trouble uh, so that's a good that's a good start we, I'm so excited I like with this next little run of things we've got uh, oh, we've got some secrets that we are coming do. out of the show so <sighs> well they're not going to be secrets for much longer are they not if they give it to us but we've been given some secrets mm -hmm. that uh, we've got to hold dear to us and yep. so many cool things that are coming up from events we've got some special guests that are coming on the show soon too so yeah this is this is where the the awesomeness happens so if you're wanting to find out more about the Bay of Plenty, like this is the show for it, right? Yeah, absolutely. We're going to be dishing out those secrets one by one, so you don't want to miss out. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you you know uh, like the video as well, mm -hmm. and keep up to date and uh, keep ready for the next uh, show, which will be next week. Do yep. it weekly. Whoa, Ooh -wee. we got a commitment. Here we go. So exciting times again. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. And yes. uh, yeah, we will see you on the next one. Real soon. Bye.